little over a year ago, Ryan and Katie joined together in holy matrimony, and it was a, a very special day, but also today is a very special day. The past year that Ryan and Katie has had to endure and go through, I think it's probably safe to say most of us have never had to endure anything like that. And they've overcome those obstacles through the help of God and, and with each other. Marriage is hard work, we all know that. And it takes sacrifice each and every day. But as long as they put God first in everything they do in their life, they'll be all right. And they've done that this last year. And look what God's done with them. And I'm proud of both of them. Ryan and Katie, I, I think when they were young, they sort of had a, I don't know, crush or attraction, whatever you want to call it. When storms do come, you'll make it because you have the love that you have for each other that God placed in your heart. Katie was at our house a few months after they started dating. Ryan and Katie, like usual, were sitting on the chair and I was laying there and I thought of something I needed to tell Katie. So I turned around really quick to tell her and they sat up really fast from a kiss. Katie made this hand signal at me. <laughs> when Ryan wasn't looking and I knew I had seen their first kiss. <laughs> After a few years of teasing them about seeing their first kiss, Ryan informed me that it was actually their second kiss. In his words, we kissed right before that and we liked it, so we thought we would try it again. <laughs> Take thee, Katie, be thy wedded wife. I, Katie, take thee, Ryan, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for rich or for poor, sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall live, according to God's holy order. The rings is a symbol of a love that you have for each other. It's a, it's a running in circle, and that's a sign of a love God's placed in your heart for each other. As a dad, I couldn't be any prouder to have a son like Ryan. All grown up. I thank God for him. And I watched Katie grow up, and I told her at one time personally, I told her I don't think I could have picked out a better person for my son than Katie. And I am thankful they have that love for each other that's going to get you through that's right. the hard time that they've faced. I trust to power given to us from the Lord. We now pronounce you man and wife, Ryan, you may kiss your bride. Give to you Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Hunter. both and that I could say you are not just friends but your family. What I think is so special and I hold so dearly to my heart is that this friendship didn't just start with our generation and with us but it goes back to our grandparents and the bond and close friendship that have was passed down to our parents who also have extremely close relationships and now here we are and we are just as close. It makes me cherish the friendship I have with both of you. Grandma has put, said something in your guys' wedding video that's way more thought out and way better than anything I could ever say. She said, Ryan and Katie, congratulations on this your wedding day. I'm sorry I can't be with you, but I hope the Lord will bless you and keep you. And don't forget, the Lord promised us he'd never leave us or forsake us. And if the Lord is on your side, who can be against you? Always keep him in your home first. I love you too. 
and Grandpa Scott would have been so proud. Ryan and I grew up doing just about everything together, playing with ball in the yard almost every day, spending summers at Grandma and Grandpa's with Jeff, vacationing with the hunter side of the family, and everything in between. I could not have asked God for a better brother to have been raised with. Even though I don't tell him enough, I really am thankful for him and I love him. I kept on thinking, you truly have been one of the best parts of my entire life. You are so encouraging and you always are lifting other people up in prayer. You are caring, loving, and so beautiful, not just on the inside, but as well as on the outside. Katie, I couldn't have imagined a person that would have been a better partner for Ryan. I would say welcome to the family, but even a year ago, you guys, before you were even married, that would have felt silly to say. You've been around for so long and fit in so naturally, but it's like you're always part of it. One that sticks out to me was the night that you told me that you liked Ryan. <laughs> it was your first year at church camp and we were staying at Lala's house. You turned to me and you're like, you know, Becca, I think Ryan's really cute and I think I might like him. And I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> Katie was even more excited the night Ryan asked her to marry him. Their love for each other was a great example to me and many others. They loved to serve each other and God. I'm so thankful that God put Ryan and Katie together. They're completely in love and have been for almost 11 years. Mm -hmm.